I'm a teaser and a pleaser, number one bedroom love teacher. I'm a ruler, call me Caesar. When I spot the to to generator, I call it the one. Welcome back to my channel, sort of had to do that really. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure why I even did that, but yeah. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for all the love on my first and second year of uni videos. I absolutely loved it. Thanks for all the online and offline support. I'm so glad that you know you guys could learn one or thing one or two things from it. Um, but this is the final series. I think that's why I'm excited. The fact that I actually stuck through it. Oh my god, giving up, man. It came up, it came. Trust me, fear, fear got in the way sometimes, but I pushed through because of all the love and support that you guys, you know, keep sending me. So I'm back today with the final in the series about third year, actually, hold on, third year, fourth year of uni, things I wish I knew. The reason why I say that is because my sister did a placement year and is heading back to uni, so she's going into her fourth year technically when you think about it like that. I'm so proud of her and I wish her all the best at university and I know that her future is bright. So about third year of uni, basically if you've done first year and second year you should really know how it works. If you want to watch my first year and second year of uni videos, everything that I've said in there I would advise that you bring it into your third or fourth year of uni because you know what it is about now, you know what you have to do, you know what you need to do to when looking for a house if you don't know have a look at my second year of uni videos making friends you know if you're going into if you're going into fourth year possibly the friends that you had in third year are have left now so you have to sort of make new friends which you know i i, I mentioned that in my first video and i would say watch that and learn from that about housing getting experience all the good stuff you know in my first and second year of uni video for third year you're pretty much you know a grandma at the uni now you're no more a fresher so to speak so you really should know how it works there's not much i think in third year that you should really know if you haven't done the second year really and i don't know how you can get to third year without going to second year so yeah i think there are only three things that sort of came into my mind while i was studying that i wish i really knew or could tell somebody to know um, to help them when they're going into your third year or fourth year of uni um, one of them is keep an eye out for graduate roles. Um, if you did not do a placement, uh, don't be disheartened. It might be a little bit more difficult getting your first role, but it's not impossible. So do keep your eye out at university. When you see a role that comes out for a placement, some organizations offer like two year placements where you rotate um, and it's an area that you're interested in, I would suggest that you apply for it. It's a bit difficult doing your coursework and preparing for exams while looking for graduate roles, but I guess, you know, that's life really. The challenges are start, going to start now where you have to juggle so many different things in the working world. Um, so this is the best time to start practicing that, but do keep your eye out for graduate roles. Um, I know back at my university, they used to have like a distribution list that you can put your name on and then roles that come up in your field the lecturer or the organization maybe your career advice can send you an email that you might be aware of so do sign up if there's something like that at your university so you don't miss out on roles that might be of interest to you but do definitely keep your eye out for graduate roles it's you know it's competitive i'm not even gonna lie i don't want to sit here and say you come out you know and walk into a fifty thousand pound a year job it's just not going to happen like that but if you do start early you would make life a bit more easier for yourself 
Secondly, graduation process preparation. Do not leave that to the last minute. Once you start receiving emails to say the gowns are going to be this price, the tickets are this price, you're entitled to this ticket, make sure you get on it. If you know 30 people are attending your graduation, try and get 30 tickets for them. If some people want to sit outside, fair enough. Um, but just make sure you get all the tickets that you need. Make sure you get your outfit ready. If you're going to receive awards prior to the actual graduation ceremony, then make sure that you have all that ready. You know where people need to be if your parents if your university is far out and your parents need to come down the night before arrange that try and get them a good deal of the hotel wherever situated where they can you know you can all be around each other don't leave all this since the last minute and then you're struggling you're rushing thinking oh my god I don't know. it comes overwhelming and you actually lose sight and don't enjoy the process it's your graduation day as my friend would say your graduation is second in line to your wedding day which I actually think is true so make sure you do get all these things ready your outfits everything you know where people are going to be and it would be a smooth day for you to actually enjoy the fruit of your labor if that's the best way to put it because you have worked so hard if you look at yourself when you started in first year and the way you are now when you're about to finish you have changed a lot so embrace that change embrace that beauty embrace that self drive that you've actually got through your university days and go with it um, finally, I think one thing that I wish I really knew is to pat yourself on the back and say, well done. Look, the amount of people that drop out of uni, if you don't believe it, go and ask your lecturer statistics. People drop out. It might not be your circle, so you never realise. You have made it from year one, you made it to year two, now you did your placement year, if you did, and now you're in year three or four kudos to you like if no one's gonna say well done i'm saying well done to you you have done so well i'm pretty sure there were times when you wanted to give up yes because i've been there i'm pretty sure there were times when you thought why did i sign up for this yes i've been there but you know what you stuck through and you did it now is your time to enjoy and say well done just take it all in. You've done something that a lot of people are not able to do due to circumstances beyond their control. You have been in that position, like God has blessed you to be in that position where you're able to come out and say, look, I have a degree in this. I have a degree in that. I know a degree is not everything, but it's the beginning of so many things to happen in your life. So pat yourself on the back and say, well done. Take time to actually enjoy the moment. In third year, unfortunately, due to the hassle and bustle, left, right, centre, sometimes you forget and lose the process. But enjoy the process. It's going to be stressful. It's going to be tough. It's going to. You would share tears. You share shed tears. Wow, Samira. You would shed tears because you want it so bad and you, you don't even know what to do but make sure that you speak to your parents speak to your mum and dad you know and times when you're not feeling your your best times when you feel like you, you doubt yourself times when you feel like you're not confident enough to push through speak to them speak to your close friends as well and let everyone help each other and push each other you're all in the boat together and trust me when you do come out of it you'll look back and think wow i remember those days like i remember those days when i used to get to the library like 6 a.m 7 a.m and then I'll go and reserve a seat for my friend and her other friend and we would steady and steady up until about three, half three and I've got a change because I used to work in m &S at the time and I used to go back and change and then go and do my four to eight shift. Now we look back we're like wow, those times were like tough times. I look back now and you're like wow, those things have shaped me into what I am today. So enjoy the process, enjoy the journey and don't give up. You are the finishing line now pretty much. Just keep going, keep the focus, keep determined, pray about it, like leave some things you can't do, like if just leave it in God's hand and he will pull you through regardless. Just pray about it and leave it to him. But this is all I have for my third year of uni. If you want to know other things, I would, say, I would suggest watching my first and second year of uni to bring this all together for you. And thank you so much on this journey. I look so forward to seeing you in my next video, which I'm not sure what it would be, but hey um i'll come back with something bigger and better for you lot yeah yeah i'm joking i'll come back with something bigger and better for you thank you bye